Hey there fellow birds of the spiral, Free Swimmer Bredecki here with a level 35 musketeer PvP versus a level 43. It took me forever just to find somebody who is within 8 levels of me, so I know they're a higher level, but I'm up for the challenge. Alright, so standard companions, like these companions, again, nice chains, nice heals. Uh, there are a couple of other options I could use old scratch um, if I want a better bomb damage and better absorb. Oh shoot. She's using Scratch. And of course, I never underestimate anybody that much, but she did train Cheap Shot, so... I'm like, I'm not sure. But... Yeah. Now what I'm hopefully going to get her to do is... She goes for a critical right away. And I have five snipes. Five snipes, so I'm going to have to try and get those off before she... Before she charges me. Alright, here we go, the first spot. Hmm. Who can we hit? We can hit anybody. Um, best to go for the weakest target. So, who's least health? Um, let's go for old scratch this time. And she uses the mid buff. Not the greatest idea, actually. And we're going to go ahead and go over. You know what, first we're going to go for a Wind Spear so we can get more damage. Like, it's a little bit more damage, I think like two or three more damage, but Wind Spear is nice to have all the same. Um, so, I'm going to pop that on Chantel, and I'm going to go for the Snipe right away. Hmm. Alright, so let's have a look at her buffs right now. She's got a <clears throat> level 5 mojo flow. Oh, wow, she went for... Is that level 3? Oh, wow. Wow, she has a level 3 mojo flow. That's not even fair. Here's her an agility buff. She did a pretty good job picking her companions, though, not gonna lie. Really quickly, you're going to see me close a program, but it has to be done. All right, so here we are, task manager. I got let's go Skype, so I'm not getting notifications. All right, let's go for another snipe, and we'll move out here so we can snipe some more. Oh my goodness, a level 68 summon. That is so unfair. <laughs> wow, it's it's just broken. That's how hard it is to get matches, guys. Like, really, really hard. I gotta fight fight people who, if if they were smarter than me, they would they would wallop me. <laughs> what they really need in this game is an update. Now, as of this video, they might have an up um, an update. I mean, this is a scheduled post, so uh, we don't know. Well, her pet on on the plus side is only level thirty uh, four, so my pet on their hand is. 70, so, yeah. I have a better understanding of the game mechanics, I think. I'm pretty darn sure, just by looking at how she's set. Let's have a quick look at her gear, actually. Yeah, not a whole lot of good gear, actually. The Mutineer's Grasp is a little attack that can be useful, I guess. Let's see how they deal with my pet. Alright, let's go for a Hidden Snipe combo next turn. Um, Chantel and all that good stuff, and I think we can kill Scratch if she doesn't heal. Um, that's what I'm hoping happens here. She does. She would have healed anyway. So that's the way I look at it. I'm going to spread out a little bit more with um, my Wing Chun. Uh, just so that, you know, they don't bomb three of us. Two is better than three. Alright, there we go for the hide.
All right, let's have a look at the damage done on the unit so far. Okay, no, no, she's going to bomb. Ouch. I mean, she has big guns yet. So that's certainly good. All right, well, she didn't heal her, heal her old scratch, so uh, I'm gonna really take advantage of this next turn. I think old scratch is dead. Combos are super important, especially when you do team PvP. If you watch a lot of my other videos, you know I do team PvP a lot. Um, I'm really great with these combos. All right, going for a sniper shot on Chantel, going to, not on Chantel, on um, old scratch right here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I can't ensure the kill. Well, let's get some damage off on this guy right here. Hopefully this kills. I mean, there's a good chance that it will clutch. Yeah, I clutched. Barely. Let's see how much health's left. 84, yeah. If I could have hit with Chantel. I, my bad on, on that part. I should have moved my Chantel a little further out. My bad. It's probably going to cost me. Like, a lot. Okay, she bombs again. Bad move, bad move. Yeah, that's not going to save Old Scratch. Old Scratch is gone. Like, there's nothing they can do. Oh, snap. I'm going to continue and just ensure the kill. Um, it's always good to ensure the kill. Like, I can't emphasize this enough. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. I'm going to move back here so we can trigger Overwatch by both of us. Um, and I have Winchin right here, ready to swing in and just lay, lay, lay a hit. So I'm just going to move my Bonnie in back. Overwatch will do its job. Alright, here we go. Old Scratch is dead. We have some nice double tap damage as well. Get some full chains. Wow. Now yeah, that's going to hurt. I might actually use Wing Chun Seal on my pirate. Guys, remember, your pirate is more important than your companions. You have the choice of losing your companions or your pirate lose your companions. <laughs> That's how important your pirate is. Alright. Alright, she's moving up. They're moving back. Oh boy, guys, do not isolate your units. This is this is gonna cost her the game. <laughs> Sorry. It really is. Go Zoe's been putting some work. You're really putting in some work. Alright, can I snipe Egg Shen? I'm gonna go ahead and snipe Egg Shen if I can. Hmm, I don't know if I should use this bomb. Yeah, it's practically worthless. Pretty sure El Toro's dead. Pretty dang sure. I'm gonna double tap onto, um, onto El Toro. No chains, though. Yeah, I should have went through with um, Wing Chun to ensure the kill because, you know what? <laughs> Hate to say it, but that was not enough. Regardless, El Toro can't kill, really, even if he does get full chains. These are all, like, high roll hits. Actually, he'd be able to kill Chantel pretty easily. We'll see what he does, though. Wing Chun right there, he's level 64 health. Um, I think he's, yeah, he's in Turn the Tide, so. 
Might be nasty to deal if I don't kill him. Goes for a group heal. Hit from El Toro. This is where I start using my Inferno shots and Hurricane rounds. These are really important to have. Okay. Yeah, he's dead. So is El Toro. I don't want to walk through these flames, though. That'll last one more turn. There we go. Can't hide from me. Oh, darn it. Yeah, Overwatch should do the trick. Surprised he resisted all that, though. Well, he's 36 health. Yeah, 36 health. Probably going to put her VA. Nope, nope. She goes for a group heal. And, and she presses on with um, Egg Shen. Again, really bad job isolating her companions. I'm, I am really glad they fought me, but, you know, this is a little critique here. This is not the way you do PvP. Alrighty, time to start moving up. When I sandwich some companions on both sides so that, you know, I don't get hurt. There we go, making a little musket line there. Alright, what does she do now? Has she said anything? Oh, wow, she's AFK for a minute. Oh, that's not good. Accuracy buff. Pal borders right there. There's one thing you could take away from this. It's to fight your battles on your own terms. This, of course, applies to life as well, but... Um, but yeah, definitely pick pick the playing field. As you're seeing right here, I'm letting her isolate her units, um, and I'm uh, I'm making it hard for her to heal when I do damage and stuff like that. So f force force people into situations when you're doing PvP. Um, that's that's one thing. That's one really really important thing to make dilemmas for people. <laughs> It's it's fun. It's not just fun. It just it's just what makes you win. And um, PvP may not seem that important right now. Like um, for Spar, of course, there's no like prizes. It is really fun. It's pretty much the only reason why I play. But um, you know there are, there are tournaments, prizes, and stuff like that. The Pirate 101 PvP League is um, open for uh, tournaments. Someone that just has to fund them, and we run it. Is how it works. It's as simple as that. Um, we run them according to our official rules. So if you're interested in funding one of those, or if you're interested in joining one, um, I usually have a video out about that. Oh, wow, Zoe's getting feisty. You can earn crowns and stuff, by the way, from doing tournaments. And also, uh, you do rank their script. I'm not sure by the time this video comes out whether there's, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the name, whether there's uh, tournaments or not. I'm not sure. I, I'm really not sure at all. Alright, I think I can hit. Oh, no, I can't. 
go for some good old standard hits right here. Hopefully, hopefully that skeletal minion's pretty much dead. I mean, he's probably going to dodge since he's close to max level. Actually, oh, there we go. Alright, he'll be dead next turn. Yeah, she's got only 439 health on her VA. Um, VA is Veiler Armor. If somebody says VA, a lot of times when they're an experienced player, it means Veiler Armor. She's got Cheap Shot and Flanking. Oh, I mean, we were all noobs once. No shame in that. Question 2 for the first time, more than likely. Okay, well she actually puts a, a little protection there. And there goes her pet. That was actually not a horrid move, but, you know, she has to keep her pirate alive, so I don't know. Let's do that. There we go. Come on, keep the burst coming. Alright, this should be sure to kill, but he dodges. How much health he got left? He got 21 health left. Like, if she seriously does heal the Skeletal Corsair, I'm actually going to use the Mega on him. Alright, there she goes for a uh, Critical Reduce. Ouch. Okay, well, that means like a whole lot less Criticals. Alright, well, I'm going to actually ensure the kill here, and while I'm at it, let's get some Blade Storms as well. Uh, alrighty. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and give him a heal. And we get the Blade Storm. And a Relend misses. And here we go with the other Blade Storm. We broke the VA, the Absorb there, so. We're actually hitting on her instead of the absorb, which is really nice because we can get, you know, blade storms and double taps and all that good stuff. Let's see what she does now. She was Okay, does she have fort? Oh wow, she does have fort. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be crazy for a bit. Like honestly, if you're like the first person with a fort, I mean there's no reason why you should lose a match, honestly. <laughs> Forts are broken at this level. Alright, I'm just going to go for hits. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and burn the Ghost Whale. I'm actually going to hit an Agility buff. For better chains. There we go. And Bonnie's going to go crazy. Come on, full chains. <laughs> there you go. Vaughn's really putting in the work right now. <laughs> Alrighty, well. She's down to, I guess... And I thought that I had closed my um, Skype, so... Really quickly, let me do that. Let's see my task manager for a second. More than likely. All right, there we go. We're back. I right, keep chipping away health. More and more chains. No chains for me. She tell misses, but Bond's going to go crazy once again. Oh my goodness. Critical after critical after critical. Okay, no more criticals. But yeah, that's pretty sweet all the same. She's below half health now. We go Wing Chun with a with another hit and 
I'm gonna have a look at her health now. She's 624 health. She's got a fort on, she's got a call to arms. All right, well, she's probably going to go for a heal. There we go, she goes for her revive. My pet, will she land a hit? Okay, good 50 damage from my pet. And there is elusive, but there's a pretty dang good chance of criticaling, so I'm just going to pile on the hits once again. And I get an epic, all right. That's what I'm talking about. It's like I'm going to get full chains on this one. Ouchies. Oh, this time Bonnie misses. Alright, she's almost back to the health she was before. Uh, actually, I mean, she's missing a little bit, but still. Revives are OP. Forts are OP. Like, privateers honestly should not be losing this match. A, a 40, 43. Oh, dang, she gets a super. That really stinks. She's pretty much pinned down right now, forwarding and, and healing and all that good stuff. I continue piling on hits. Man, I love old Quigley. It's five range. That's like the best gun up until like high into the 50s like high even when you're level 60 you use it that's how good old quickly is <laughs> literally all right it's 800 health her, her fort goes out next turn um, and I think after she uses her ruse that will be her last heal she goes with the bomb can we kill this turn? I mean, we might just we might just be able to do that actually if we get lucky on the criticals. Let's see what we got. And we get a critical for my pirate. Double tap that hits, burst fire that megas, and the chain stops there. Chantel gets a critical. Uh, there we go. Double tap. Are. She survives another round and her fort's off, so if she doesn't do something, then she's dead. Even if she does heal, that's not going to save her. Alright, looks like she goes for her ruse. Um, simple solution for me is just to, just to hit her with my Inferno shot. <laughs> my pet does 69 damage. That's funny. Alrighty. There we go with our hurricane round. It's going to do a good, I don't know, 400 damage. If it criticals, it'll do way more than that. That's where we use Bonnie Ann's Reduce. Oh, dang, we get a super. GG. GG. Alright, well, guys, that was a level. Um, oh, that was so boring. <laughs> You understand what is how how this sort of stuff works? It's it's pretty lit. Thanks for the match. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that is how you PvP a privateer. Um, of course, there are better privateers out there, um, especially at max levels. There are like a ton of root. Actually, well, most of the people left the game at this point. I'll just be perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you face Privateer at level 35. Hope this video was helpful. Please leave a like, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you in another video. So uh, yeah, peace out for now.